<clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Looks like Little Mac was just too trash to keep Jigglypuff's attention. And when the Puff snoozers on the losers, it's time to play everyone's least favorite game. Wait, that's hard! Welcome, ladies and gentle gamers! My name is Balak A, and I am your host for tonight's Pulse Pounding Edition on the show about Melee's least favorite character, Wake That Puff! The goal is simple! Whoever can awaken the menacing little puffball from her eternal slumber will get the greatest prize of them all! A buff from Daddy Sakurai himself! Tonight, we have five competitors competing for glory! But... Whomst shall prevail. If any of the competitors fail to complete their goal, we have our trusty bodyguard Incineroar on standby to escort them off the premises. That being said, without further ado, let's get straight into it. First up, it is Numero Uno himself, Mario! We all know who this portly plumber is by now. The man who single-handedly saved the video game industry from the brink of collapse. And has ruined the lives of noobs and gorillas with his very presence. But does he have what it takes to unknock this knockout champion? Well, according to him, he better otherwise this whole show will get cancelled as he is our main beneficiary. Yeah. All right, boss. Give it your best shot. <laughs> oh, no! Well, well, well. Looks like poor Mario just got a whole lot poorer. You should have used your broken back air, you top tier gatekeeper! <laughs> Next up, we have the original lovable puffball themselves, Kirby! Ever since the days of the N64, these two pink balls have been unceremonious rivals when Jigglypuff decided to copy most of Kirby's moves for themselves. But who will win this time? The copy or the original? Kirby is about to make their move. Well, uh, I guess streaming is a legitimate strategy. But it won't work on the likes of the Pink Terror, who has drowned out the screams of her foes as she mercilessly wrests them into oblivion. But there's only room around here for one murderous little blob, so... Up next, we have the bane of Puff's existence in Melee, and Nintendo's resident furry ambassador, Fox McCloud. Known for his fast and flashy playstyle, this space pilot has been the most consistent threat the Smash Bros. fighting scene has ever witnessed. Now, let's make like a Michael Vick and see some animals fight! Let's go! Looks like we have ourselves a free for all. <whistles> Nothing? Ah, whatever. Moving on. Next, we have the only property Nintendo seems to care about anymore Inkling from Splatoon. 
As an amalgamation of a kid and a squid, this questionable affront to God has captured the awe and imagination of the modern Nintendo era for the past six years. With our numbers dwindling, can this squid ink out an advantage? Let's find out. Say hello to my little friend! Boy oh boy, it looks like Inkling didn't have an inkling of a chance. Boo, you stink! Seriously? Fine, you wanna go that way? That ink looked like c I apologize for the last joke being crude and offensive in nature. I have made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and I don't expect to be forgiven. With our show winding down, we have but one contender remaining. It is, of course, the fearsome, the diabolical, but most important of all, the best teeth in the frickin' game, is one bad plant, ladies and gentle gamers. Being an enemy of the Mushroom Kingdom since day one, this carnivorous plant has all sorts of gimmicks to devour its enemies in the most devastating ways imaginable. But does it have what it takes to take down this sleeping giant? Only time will tell. And there you have it, my dear viewers. It would appear that nothing can waken the mighty Jigglypuff. With that anticlimactic end, we will end tonight's... Wait. What was that? The winner gets a buff in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Isn't that right, Sakurai? Sore wa tudashi desu. Kore wa goi desu. Parino no zorite. Ah, ah, ah. This has certainly been a rollout of an episode, my ladies and gentle gamers. But if we could all come home with one lesson that we learned from today, is that, well, no one truly won here. And you've just wasted precious minutes of your life watching this goonery unfold. That has been our show. I have been your host, Block A, and I thank you for watching. What the? Oh, oh no! <laughs>